Hello everybody, TP Gaming here. Welcome back to Espresso Tycoon. We are back in How Have You Been? Coffee Shop. Um, just noticed as I was uh, looking around the menus, we got these style points. So you get these from uh, your decoration, that kind of thing. Um, and it obviously gets likes by different people there. Um, but that multiplies your money. I was wondering how we were making the best part of $40 on, on sort of one coffee and whatever. Well, that's how. How does it work? Buy more decoration and collect more style points to increase your money multiplication. So the better the look place looks and the happier people are, you get a multiplier on the money, which makes more sense now because we're not really getting that many customers and somehow we're making a little bit of money. So that makes sense. So that's something to keep an eye on. Um, but what I thought we will do right off the bat here is we are going to make some new coffees because we just didn't have in the last episode we weren't catering for a big enough audience so I also noticed we didn't have any iced coffees now usually you would have iced coffees in a different style cup but then none of these are takeaway cups either so so we are gonna have ourselves an iced something an iced uh, we're going to have ourselves a, because I think we've already got it as well, we're going to have ourselves a vanilla iced. So, a vanilla iced requires... Two cold milks. Two vanilla syrups. Uh, can't do anything more than that, can we? We could fill this up with cold water. But I want to have a look, see what toppings we've got. Just before we... So we can have whipped cream. So it's going to be whipped cream with a waffle on top sort of thing. So I think what we'll do is we will now add cold water. Mm, top it with some more cold milk. These layers look horrible. So we've got ourselves a vanilla iced and we're going to top it with whipped cream and a waffle roll and that appeals to absolutely nobody <laughs> so that's terrible okay so where are we going wrong with these so we can alter these layers so we do reduce that cold milk doesn't really do a lot it does a lot for this it doesn't do anything for our market research cold water does something so the tourists prefer it without cold water. So we just have cold milk then. If we just put more and more milk in. Very good with seniors. Very good with tourists. That's their first. So this is basically just an ice cream, right? This is just a... Uh, this hasn't got any coffee in it, of course. We haven't actually put any coffee in. So maybe take away one of the cold milks and put it in an espresso. Maybe take away another cold milk and chuck it in another espresso? No. Okay. Let's lose that. Let's try again. Let's try again. Vanilla iced. Maybe it's the layering that's wrong. So maybe we need... Two shots of espresso. They don't like the cold milk, do they? They do not like the cold milk. Everybody's like, oh no, cold milk. Two vanilla syrups. And top it with cold water? No. No, 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 I want to get rid of the cold water. Get rid of the cold water. That went badly. Cold milk. take away a cold milk put a topping on whipped cream and a waffle nobody likes that do they i mean it does sound horrifically sickly but that's not the point i thought somebody would like it okay so maybe that's not the way to go then with the ingredients we currently have maybe they don't like that 
Let's maybe come up with a different style of coffee. Let's try then. Espresso. Double espresso. So they really hate milk, don't they? Business people hate milk. Business people would never do that. Hipsters will order this coffee as their first choice. So it's got a couple of hot milks in it. But as soon as you start chucking in things like vanilla and things like that, it puts people off like crazy. I don't know why you'd ever stick a waffle in like that. Let's not let's not have that waffle. Whipped cream does a little bit. That's very casuals. How many casuals do we get in there? That's the thing. You know, realistically, our customers are generally... We haven't got any casuals coming in. We have one business person. Hipsters. We've had one hipster. One kid. No seniors. Students. Students. Okay, so we're getting more students. Oh, here we go. What's this then? So we get, so we get business people come in just before lunchtime. Casuals come in pretty much the whole day and hipsters. Seniors, kids, they have peaks. Students are at the full extremities of the day when we're not open anyway. Same as techies and tourists are through the day. So we really want to focus, because we only open through the day, we want to focus, I think, on casuals, hipsters and uh, tourists for our coffee. So we want a coffee that caters to those individuals let's let's make a smaller cup so casuals tourists and hipsters wasn't it so right off the bat a good shot of espresso 70 mil of espresso some hot water or liquid silver as what we're putting in with some hot milk really every time you put milk in they're like oh no we don't want this uh, what are these people's aversion to milk cold milk okay cold milk gives us casuals and hipsters tourists coming up uh a vanilla syrup nope that just kills it completely um we can eat it. We need to research some more toppings and stuff, don't we? Put a bit of whipped cream on. Hipsters, casuals, still there. Tourists coming up. Still coming up. A few blueberries on it. It's massive for the casuals. Very similar to our other coffee, though. I mean, it's not the coffee I had in mind. What have we got in this? Cold milk, hot water, and espresso. What if we put a hot milk in? Nope, that kills everything. Okay, so we I think what we need to do is we need to research some of these other milks because I think they might want steamed milk or stuff like that in their uh, in their drinks. What if we topped this up with Okay, nobody likes cold water mixing with the hot water. Hot water all the way. Casuals like it, but nobody else. If we just top the thing up with cold milk, that's not too bad. If we just have espresso and cold milk, so that is a full iced thing. If we take out one of the cold milks and try a vanilla syrup, what did that do? Brought the seniors down a little bit, so we don't want that. We'll leave that out. Okay. It's not ideal. It's not ideal. But it'll do. So this is just an iced espresso then, isn't it, really? We won't be giving this a silly name. We'll just call this an iced espresso. Um, espresso. That's basically what that is. Uh, we need some cups for the coffee, so we need to order some 
uh, cups in. We do that from... Oh, here's research. Hang on a second. Base research. Coffee editor. Okay. We need to... Some syrups, some milks, um, some special ingredients, some latte art would be good, I think. Uh, toppings. We want to research it all, really. I want, I want to research everything. Uh, and I'm going to put in... $50 a day. Which is a lot, but... $51 a day in the research for that. Because we really need to start making some better coffees. Um, supplies. We need to order some supplies. We need some cups. Now it says we've got cups. Does our coffee need special cup then? This ice espresso? No cups for this coffee. Waffle roll. Okay, so we need some waffles as well. Um, where's our supplies gone? Always lose the shortcut for that. I know you can get to it from any menu, basically, though, so it's not too bad. Um, tough like you, 30, 30 U. Ah, I see. That's the thing, isn't it? So our iced espresso maybe uses a bigger cup. Okay, well, let's have some of these then. Let's order... Let's order some of those. They're better, better quality cup. Uh, and we need some toppings. We need some waffle rolls. We'll take... Uh, We'll take some of those as well. This is getting expensive. Um, I think we're okay for everything else for now. So I think we can... Skip to the employee coming. We can open the coffee shop. Midnight auto save. Nice. Loan interest paid. We need to stop paying so much interest. We need to sort that loan out. Here's our delivery. We'll take that. Thank you very much. We'll take that one as well. Um, we're going to put this on the menu. I don't think a lot of people are going to order that, though, to be honest with you. But hopefully we'll get some better supplies in by the end of uh, the end of the day. We'll have some better ingredients and we can make some better coffees. These people just turn away. Why? Why are they turning away? Why are they not coming in? We're open, aren't we? Why are they not? Why are they not even coming in? Kids have nothing to order. New ingredient: wheat. Well, interesting how some people are just turning around as soon as they get here. That's a bit weird. How do you entice these people in? Why are they turning away? Why is he turning away? Why is he not coming in? Is that a decoration thing? They're coming to the door and then they're just turning away. Why are they doing that? Because we're open now. White Americano, $12.17. We need more customers, but they're just walking here and turning away. Finally, people coming in. I wonder if they were on their way. No? I wonder if they were on their way in before we were open again. But I could offer you a $10 discount. Would that, into, would that entice you in? What about this gentleman? Let's offer him a $10 discount. He's been before. Look how happy he is. Just giving him $10. Hey, somebody's ordered a hot and steamy. You better come in with your $10 discount. Don't get shafting it over to somebody else. That's all right. Come in. But you're not coming in. Why are you not coming in? I don't understand why they're not coming in. Are they not enticed by something? Did they get here and think, ah, this coffee shop doesn't do it for me. Uh, he's had a hot and steamy as well. Obviously, he got a $10 discount on his... So we've got three people sat inside the coffee shop now, so this has gone a little bit better. So 
have a look to see what's happening on the, uh, the floor here. You gave him that coffee, didn't you? Oh, this is pretty cool. We, there's a lot of stuff on there we don't sell, of course. Like, about 90% of it, but it's there. I like the menu. It's a shame it doesn't... Um, it's a shame it doesn't have what we're actually selling, right? But that's not bad. He's finished for the day. What was that? What was that? Oh, look, he's made a friend with his, his free... His free coffee, see? That's all anybody needs. Why aren't you lot coming in? Can we make this more enticing? It says we're open. I mean, come in. I know it looks a bit unusual for a coffee shop, but come in. Why are you coming okay. here and turning around? I wish I knew what they were doing for that. Because there's no way of knowing. One of five discounts used today. Oh, that's just general then. Okay. So I can put some more decoration in. Wow! Who was that? What? What was that? Was that you? Was that you with your five-year-old's voice, was it? Oh, they enjoyed the croissant, anyway. Um, okay. So we're having a, a steady problem with people just walking to the door and turning around, which is not great. Finance-wise, we're not doing badly, but we're not making any money. We're actually losing quite a bit of money. We can take more loan out, but obviously that's going to cost us more money in the long run, which isn't great. Customers are... Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Casuals, they've got the hot and steamy. The business like the espresso and the Americano. The seniors like the hot and steamy. New challenge has arrived. We searched three new items. Sure, we'll do that. Um... Seniors like the hot and steamy. Techies don't have anything, but they also drink espresso. The students and the kids have absolutely nothing here, so we need to invent a kid and student drink to kind of balance everything out a little bit. And then maybe, maybe things will turn around, because people are... Here we go, an iced espresso and a croissant to go. Finally, somebody. Thank you very much, Charlotte Phillips. See? That's the attitude we want. Steamed milk. There we go. Steamed soy. That's going to get some hipsters in. Here we go. We're going to get the coffee aficionados in now. Money's rolling in more. Good, good, good. Okay, there's no employee, so we're going to have to hire an employee because... Uh, hire... We are going to hire... We're going to employ Rebecca Allen. And we're going to pause the game a second because... We're still getting a few customers here. I don't really want to work through the night. Ideally. She can work until 4am. Then we're only closed for four hours. But we can do that. We can do that. I think it's worthwhile doing because there's still some foot traffic here. It's still pretty good. Um, I'm just going to pause the game though. I'm just going to make. Let's have a look at a, a making a new coffee then. Let's just click into the next step. What have we got available now? Heavy cream. So we've got some steamed soy. Okay. What else have we got? Can't go into toppings and stuff until we make a coffee, can we? So let's. Let's make a coffee then. So let's put in an espresso with some steamed soy milk. Wow, that <laughs> business people just went, nope. Even hipsters went, nope, for that. Wow, nobody likes steamed soy. Um, strawberry ice cream, heavy cream. Let's put some heavy cream in it. Um, anyway, let's look at the toppings, which is what I actually was. So what have we researched here? Nothing new in the toppings yet. So what are kids going to like? What are kids going to like? Well, I think they're, they're not going to like this 
first of all, they're not really going to be drinking coffee, are they? They're not really going to be huge coffee drinkers. So heavy cream with some cold milk and a couple of dollops of strawberry ice cream. No? Come on. Why are the tourists like this, but the kids are like, nah. Come on, it's ice cream. All right, if we get it rid of the cold milk, maybe? If it's just a... Maybe this is just going to be heavy cream and ice cream all the way through. Let's make it look a bit better. Let's, um... Let's do heavy cream, heavy cream, ice cream, ice cream. And... That it with whipped cream with a few blueberries on it oh yeah oh yeah oh look at that that's great for casuals it's great for seniors great for kids we'll have that on the menu i have no idea what we've just made we've basically just made an ice cream i have no idea what this has got to do with coffee there's no coffee in it but in fact if i just i don't know if we've got room but if i put a shot of espresso yeah there's no room anyway i wonder what would happen if we did that but we'll leave it uh, this is a, um, this is a, this is a sickly strawberry, sick, why is it going, sickly strawberry, oh come on, you, no characters, um, okay, we'll call this too sweet. Okay, what do we need to have too sweet to the menu? We need to buy some heavy cream and we need to buy some ice cream. And then we're good to go, I reckon. So let's go to supplies. So we need some... Uh, where is it? So we need some strawberry ice cream. Uh, we might as well have holy strawberry. We'll have three of those. Um, we want some heavy cream. Heavy metal cream. Sure, why not? Let's have that. Let's have some of that. I'll have to wait for it to get delivered, but once it does, we should be quids in, which hopefully is going to happen because we are running quite close to the wire here. If we're going to make it to the next episode, we could do with a turnaround of finance. Speed things up a bit. Oh dear. Oh dear. You have an additional credit line for $500, but if you reach that level, you will officially go bankrupt. Use this opportunity to improve your cash flow. Hmm. Order suggestion... A Mespresso order. Fine. So, okay, so you do get order. But we can't order that because we don't have any money. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> We're going to run out of coffee. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Um, okay, can we sell this? How much will that cost us to... Uh, can we get rid of this? Camera, stop glitching, please. Can we sell this item? Why can't we sell that item? Oh, we are in we are in trouble here. We are going to go bankrupt. Um, I have to sack an employee, I think, and just keep to the two employees and just go through the. Oh, it's too late to sack her because she's going to get paid anyway. We only reset. We need this. We badly need this. We badly need this. Can we run some adverts or something? Not that we've got any money to, to do, but marketing. Here we go. That's two out of three. That's That $350 could save our lives. Otherwise, this coffee shop is going down. Okay. 
I skipped time until the customer comes to work. Hopefully we're still okay. Okay. We're still kind of afloat, but at minus $54, we're not looking good when we already owe so much money. Finally, the delivery has arrived for this, but we're getting low of Nespresso. And we have no money to... Um... Okay, that's given us... We did it, I think. Claim reward. Oh, we needed that cash. Boy, did we ever need that cash. Let's order this. Oh, we needed that. We really needed that. But what I'm going to do is change... We're going to sack off our evening employee. Sorry, Rebecca, you've only just got here, but... She needs to go, I think. I'm going to have to fire you. Sorry. We can't afford you. We're going to have to cut back on our hours again. Um, we're just not quite ready to expand to work through the night. But that's going to do it for this episode. We'll see how we uh, crack on in the third if we... Uh, if indeed we make it that far. But I am quite enjoying this game, actually. It's quite enjoyable. It's a little bit micro -managy. But I think once you get started, it will take care of itself. I mean, you can employ people to do certain things. Um, but once that's done, it won't be too bad. And once you get a better understanding of it, even better. We have got quite a bit of research stuff going now, so we can make some better coffees hopefully soon. But that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, leave it a like. Consider subscribing if you haven't already and come back for another video very soon. And that is where you'll find me. See you in the next one.